I'm Rachel and you're watching Kalkine Media's educational series. In today's video, we're going to talk about ransomware attacks and how we can keep ourselves safe from them. Ransomware is an evolving form of malware that encrypts files on a device, making the files and the systems relying on them useless. Once this process is complete, the malicious users ask the owner of the system and files to pay a ransom to decrypt the files. Generally, malware enters the user's system when the user downloads or installs an infected software. The other ways through which malware can enter a system is via email or through links. Once the malware enters the system, it links itself to various files and overwrites the data. The malware in the system directly impacts the performance of the system. The problem with malware is that it self-replicates. As a result, it consumes massive memory space and makes the system slow. Ransomware also consumes the internet data of the user. Other than this, malware interferes with the user's day-to-day -day activities. Malware is designed in a way that it creates unwanted pop-ups and ads. It does not leave unless the malware is removed from the system. So what are the different types of ransomware? Well, firstly, there's CryptoLocker. This is one of the oldest forms of cyber attacks that came into existence back in 2013. At that time, the hackers used the original CryptoLocker botnet methodology in ransomware. WannaCry is the most extensively known ransomware worldwide. This has infected several businesses across more than 150 nations. Then comes Bad Rabbit. Now, Bad Rabbit is another form of ransomware that spread via a fake Adobe Flash update on the hacked website. Another type of ransomware is Cerber. Cerber targets users of Cloud 365 and is compatible with 12 different languages. Next, Crisis encrypts files saved on fixed drives, removable drives and network drives. It spreads through any malicious attachment that has a double extension file. Another dangerous ransomware is GoldenEye. This circulates via a vast social engineering campaign aiming for HR departments. If any user downloads a GoldenEye infected file, the macro is launched, which encrypts the files in the user's computer. Next is Locky. Locky ransomware locks the user's system and prevents them from using it unless a ransom is paid. It spreads via an email message masked as an invoice. Once the user opens the attachment, the invoice gets deleted and the victim is guided to enable macros to read the document. As soon as the user enables the macros, the role of Locky starts. It starts encrypting multiple file types using AES encryption. There's another ransomware called CryLocker. CryLocker is a personalized ransom note with the help of data available in the system, such as users' personal details, such as their name, date of birth, IP address, and pressurizes the user. Once the process gets completed, the user's locked from the system and is asked to pay money within 24 hours. Lastly, a ransomware called Jigsaw is a serious malware that encrypts the file and then starts deleting them steadily till an amount is paid. It deletes one or more files every hour for 72 hours. After that time, all the encrypted files get deleted. To detect a ransomware attack, one needs a system with an antivirus scanner. The scanner raises the alarm if any ransomware is detective. One that can detect ransomware with the extension of the file. For example, we know that there exists a file with extension PDF. However, if the extension is changed and is unfamiliar, there's a high possibility of ransomware. If there are many files with a changed name, it implies a ransomware attack. If the software within the system starts communicating with other servers automatically, there's a strong possibility of a ransomware attack. So how can one protect their systems from a ransomware attack? Well, the first step is to avoid clicking on any unsafe link. Next is to keep all personal information safe. If a person receives any call or a text message from an untrusted source, one should not respond. 
One should also avoid opening any suspicious email attachments. Do not use any USB device or any other data storage media if you're not aware of the source. There's a high chance cyber criminals may have infected the device. In case you download data, ensure that these websites are known sources. This way, the risk of ransomware attack is minimized to a considerable level. Lastly, one should keep their systems and software updated. Thank you all for watching. I hope this has given you some insights onto how to keep yourself safe from the rising ransomware attacks. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe to Calgon Media's YouTube channel for interesting insights and information on the markets and beyond.